we're studying autonomic dysfunction in people with spinal cord injuries. And what that means is that your sympathetic or your fight or flight response goes into hyperdrive and your body is unable to necessarily cope with it. Our system uses simple sensors which are commercially available and they're entirely non-invasive in order to predict or detect when a person is becoming symptomatic and then lets them know that, hey, you're starting to get symptomatic and it's time that you do a couple of management techniques. So this could be as simple as adjusting the position of their chair. Through the ICT Fellowship, we've established really good contacts with people at the Rehab Hospital of Indiana, as well as IU School of Medicine. And they've been crucial in helping us understand how these different sensors can detect autonomic dysreflexia and how it can apply to translate our work in the lab into a clinical setting. And what we've established through this is that there is a need for such a device in the clinic and there is definitely a need for this device in the community. So through my collaboration with the mentors at Purdue, I get a very technical base. I get a good understanding of the technique which needs to be applied to so the engineering practices which really need to go into developing the system. And through my interactions with my mentors in the clinic, I actually understand how this would apply in a clinical perspective. And sometimes there's a big difference between the two where the expectations of one is different from the other. Um, so I think having that bridge of sorts between the two areas is extremely crucial for developing a good system, especially one that could potentially serve as a clinical tool in the future. This is a great opportunity, especially for a student like Shruti, who definitely has the engineering background, but really wants to apply her research to the real world, to solving healthcare problems. And with the fellowship, she could then work with clinicians to see its impact and validate and test it in the patient population. So the opportunity to work with patients is actually an amazing thing because when you develop a product, you never think about what it's like in the hands of a user. So when a patient actually gets to try it out and it helps in both research and getting feedback on how the technology can be improved, I think that is a major advantage of working with patients directly. And it also allows for a good understanding of not just the, the technical know-how, but also from a human point of view, how does your research impact the general public? How does it affect people who actually need this the most?